Yeah, yeah definitely. I think, uh, uh, like, every time I was doing an interview, I was uh, letting them know what is my intentions. It was just to secure our data and uh, help uh, people, uh, you know, use the, uh, our ser uh, the, the services that we're getting from Omnivox securely and, you know, with confidence. So they, they, they were repeatedly saying that I was attacking them. Uh, which is false because if I would, uh, like any other attacker in the world, he would uh, uh, hide his identity, identity and better yet, remove his traces. Okay, and what about this comparison to breaking and entering? I, I think he, you know, he, he, he was saying, say, you, you, have, you have a house and then somebody tries to uh, pick a lock in it, you know, try to get in. So this is what he's, he's trying to say. But in reality, Let's say I'm trying to uh, break in into a house, but that house has my whole life stored in it. My, my passports, my uh, you know, driver license, my credit cards, everything is there. And including, not just mine, uh, 250,000 students is also there in that house. So, and I'm going to the house every year, it's, it's, it's as if I'm saying it's also my house. It sounded like they were questioning um, your, your integrity, essentially saying that Based on what you've done, you're not capable of behaving in a professional way, and therefore you wouldn't be like a field candidate for a job in this field or a student in this kind of program, and that's Sorry. why they installed you and put zeros on your record. What do you think of I, that? I, I disagree with uh, Ken Fogel. Uh, if, you, if you look at me now, I got about 10 jobs. Even Skytech is willing to offer me a job. And, you know, uh, I think um, I, I know a bit more than him in certain fields, not not all the fields, but I think uh, I'm pretty confident in, in saying this, that uh, uh, future jobs, they usually want people like these, people who are uh, love to risk stuff just for, for, for better, not just be a regular student, live a normal life. Justement, c'est quoi les conséquences pour vous, tout ça? Uh, J'ai eu plein de conséquences, notamment uh, que je peux pas aller dans d'autres collèges uh, à cause de mes notes. Parce qu'ils ont décidé que c'est meilleur qu'on euh, le donne une leçon à vie, qu'on on on lui donne des, des zéros partout et qu'on met un autre dans son code permanent pour qu'il ne va jamais dans une autre école, parce qu'il va jamais il va refaire la même, euh, la même tentative qu'il a fait encore. Vous en faire des emplois Oui, on m'en fait plein d'emplois. Et je reçois toujours des courriers, à peu près 5 par jour, euh, pour des emplois. Yes, it was from the president company. I really appreciate his offer. I'll look into it. Uh, I'll consider it, and uh, I'll see my way. You know, from from that point of view. I got it. For, I think uh, yesterday, late at night. Phone call. No, no. Just he, he made a press release in his uh, in his website, skytech.com. Sorry. Um. Just uh, just to clarify. When they when they were when they were talking about the uh, the trying to access non-student systems, you know, what, what what are they talking about there? We're talking about uh, the software. It was just running through the whole website, and they thought I was attacking them. When in reality I was not. It was just the scanner. It was making sure, you know, when you when you press that scan button and you put the URL on that website of when you uh, use the Acunitix software, it'll just uh, scan all websites and it's child websites. So they thought I was attacking the budgetary system, like you mentioned. But okay. I have no idea it even exists. And did you tell them this when they met you? Yes, I told them everything in, in the in the meetings. I think I have had three meetings with them, and I, I was uh, just you know repeatedly repeatedly saying uh, what were my intentions and why I didn't hide myself and that I really wanted to help because from the beginning it was just collaboration with them, anyways. Sorry. No, the the ISAP. The is, Not no. the ISAP. The, the one that's specific to the community course. Not the one they even sent us. The the course. The, your course handle. Yeah. You know, I don't even have it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me just ask you a bit about what you're going to be doing next. You say you've gotten job offers. Uh, what? Yeah, um, right now, you know, definitely, I don't think uh, Dawson would even let me, and it'll be really awkward to, you know, go and track the teachers that voted me off. So, uh, you know, I think I'll bid farewell to Dawson. You know, the, the community was great, DSU was here, 
you know, the, the students were like super enthusiastic, you know, all year long. It's a super cool uh, college. But uh, I think I'll move on. I'll take one of those job offers I've got and I'll apply to another English teacher by next semester. And one of the job offers is from uh, this uh, company that runs. Dogs. Yeah, one of them, yeah. How many have you got? Uh, till now, 10 to 12. It's going up. I'm surprised by all this because let's face it, the very nature of a university student is to sort of challenge your boundaries, yeah. be curious, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know. I think every computer science student should be curious. In fact, everybody should be curious, and, you know, trying to learn new stuff, exploring. It's, it's a good thing. It's not something to be perceived as bad.